Good morning, dear kids. Welcome to your English lecture. So let's see what we are going to learn in today's lecture. Now open up your books. So as you know, we were doing the grammar part of our book. Now open up your books at page number. Seventy-seven. So, on page number seventy-seven, in the previous lecture, we have learned about the synonyms and antonyms. S Y N O, syno, N Y M S, names. Synonyms mean meanings, and antonyms, A N T O, ento. N Y M S names antonyms. Antonyms mean opposites. Okay. So today we will complete the table which is given in your book, and we have to write the synonym and the antonyms of the given word. Okay. Let's read the statement. The statement says, "Complete the following table. The first one is done for you." So, first word is clever, and the synonym of clever is smart. Okay, it means clever and smart have the same meaning, and the opposite of them is foolish. F double O L full I S H foolish foolish. Now the next one is rich. R I C H rich. Rich means or the synonym of rich is wealthy. W E A L T H Y wealthy. And the opposite of them is poor, P double O R poor. Okay, so rich means wealthy, and their opposite is poor. Now the next word is rude, R U D E rude. Rude means impolite. I am im, p o l i t e polite, impolite, and the opposite of these two words is polite, p o l i t e polite. Okay, so root means impolite, and its opposite is polite. Now the fourth one is ask. A S K ask. Ask mean question. Q U E S T I O N question. And their opposite is answer. A N S W E R answer. Okay. So ask mean question. And they both have the opposite, which is answer. So for today, it's enough. So mark the date. It's second of December, two thousand and twenty. So you have to do it as a classwork on your book and as a homework on your neat copies. Okay. So see you in the next lecture. Till then, Allah Hafiz.